Hi, my name is Ryan Airy. I am uh, head of the video department here at French Woods Summer Festival of the Performing Arts. Um, it's a very demanding job. I'm in here very late hours. I love coming up here in the summer because it gives me a chance to work with you know film and things that I love and I really I come for the kids. It's really fun to work for the kids and that they're the most gratifying part of the job. Uh, Keep going. Video staff only in the, in the rolling chairs. Get up. Only video staff in the rolling chairs. Get up right now. Only video staff in the rolling chairs. Get up out of chairs, Noah! Are you deaf? Only video staff in the rolling chairs. <laughs> I could be doing this stuff anywhere, but I do it at camp because um, you basically get to mold young minds. All right, Sandra, how old are you? How old are you? Twelve. You get twelve hits with the spoon, right? Who is me? You get to teach kids how to film, how to execute their vision. I, oh, please be quiet! See, that's why I yell because I can't be polite and do it because she doesn't work with you guys. All right. I'm at Phil Skokos. He has been a f camper here at French Woods for the past 17,000 years. I've been here for seven years. <laughs> he uh, came in to video my first year and I had to make a movie with him called Mime Wars in 64D. I still have no idea what Mime Wars was about. Of course, I do have secret ambitions, which I will never tell each other. And somehow or another, he and I uh, started to make this movie together, that other Rusty and Masquerade movie. Basically, what is the main idea of the Rusty Masquerade? Uh, Rusty and Masquerade. What's the main idea of the Rusty Masquerade? The, the, it's a film about friendship. Um, Basically, friendship. Um, about comedy. With a lot of political overtones. About a, a young man who's betrayed by his former best friend. Even though they really have no effect. It befriends a, a, a talking walrus who sunbathes in trees. And um, basically, my friend Rusty. It's interesting because, oh, I love you, Rusty. Oh man, you're so fluffy. Fluffy! The main character, Masquerade, is rejected by his former best friend, so he's kind of cast out, and then he meets another friend, this walrus that I mentioned before. And then uh, Leningarb befriends Lordington in a different way. They fight when they meet, and then he basically enslaves his, his friend. So Leningarb is sort of the ultimate villain because he can only uh, attain friendship through slavery and through violence. Uh, yeah, the original movie, you had no idea. I mean, this movie's going to be too long and stuff, but at least you'll have an idea what's happening. Like, okay, this is the steak that Leningarb uses as an eye patch. I think this might be the seventh or eighth steak. We, every time we've shot with Leningarb, we've lost the steak afterwards. If you have any video of me saying, where's the steak? Because I know I've said it that many times. Are we shooting the fight scene? You want to shoot the fight scene? Can you fix the steak then, like I asked you to? Yeah. All right. That makes me really happy. It makes me just want to grab him and say, "Oh, let's go, go! You're a little genius." Final ultimate battle. I like the computer screen. No, I can't eat. Just break it out here. Just go ahead, rip the arms, tear it to shreds. I'm not. No, I'm not. Are you crying? Huh? What's under your eye? Your eye. Come on, guys. Let's go, go Rusty and Masquerade. Let's go. One minute. You don't have to go. No. Because I concur. Phil, if you stole that idea I just gave you, I am going to put on Max. Max. Watch your mouth, young lady. Little kids all around. Yeah, including Noah. There's Xander. He just corrupted Xander. <laughs> oh, he's been corrupted. Look at him. Hi, Xander. Sure. You wouldn't even know the difference by looking. He doesn't even have a soul anymore. Yeah.
All right, break up into two units. One unit's gonna shoot the Rusty and the uh, Lorienton fight. The other unit's gonna shoot you guys fighting. I'm saying do the fights because it's a wide angle. Cam and Tank. I'm scared as hell of heights, man. Don't do that. Okay, uh, I have one question. Yeah, Cam, is it annoying? No. Okay. Give me that tape. <laughs> Give me that tape. All right, use pips. I want to say thank you to Ryan and for basically, well, doing everything in editing and filming and giving us lunch. By the way, live long and prosper.